I feel like most travel vlogs start from inside of a car and well not this one partially due to the fact that the footage that I did have from inside the car got deleted but nevertheless here's to them <laughs> well, we made it to the top. End of trail. That's tough. That sucks. <laughs> they said 0.7 miles, or like two. <sighs> you're walking off. You're like, oh. And then there's like a uh, good little, <laughs> good little drop off. All right, I guess we uh, begin the okay. trek down now. <laughs> I did see a lot of people comment about how they went down at nighttime, yeah, and it wasn't that safe. Oh really? So. Well, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of slippery <laughs> rocks. Don't have on hiking boots. But this is awesome. Yeah, we're coming down. Yeah, 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 that's exactly where we're going to place right now. In fact, you might see this. We're coming down. It's tough. In my bag. Get. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Doing the lunges up here with the 30 pound, 30 pound bag on my back. Dude, that was almost bad. Camera's still okay though. Okay. Well, there's that for you. Cathedral Rock. Beautiful, yet dangerous. I think it's funny how. We came to Sedona. We landed. The first thing we did was you get some, you get some good food, and then immediately go <laughs> hike this. Slide. <laughs> look, look at that. It's a straight drop off. Okay, so last night we got done, had some food, got some groceries, came back here, and now we start our two-hour drive to the Grand Canyon after coffee. Alright, we made it out here to the Grand Canyon. This, this is crazy. Watch this, ready? Tell y'all something about this thing. This is special speeches. The north rim is a thousand foot higher. Alright, let me introduce the family. Mom. What they were saying was that thing turned. Garrett. I got a dog for every time. I got a preaching. <laughs> I'd be rich. I could travel the world. I don't need YouTube money. <laughs> I'm at the Grand Canyon. It's like a big hole in the ground or something. I think it's crazy. Like people don't realize how close you are. Like there's no railing or anything on the edge of this. So look. So I already fell once, but we, we're all right. Yeah, you're not that. I'm sure if it just is wet enough. Well, obviously we're not in the Grand Canyon anymore. <laughs> We literally drove two hours and we are in this. <laughs> We're dressed for desert and Grand Canyon and we get this. It's nuts. Welcome. This is Welcome weird. To, Welcome to Arizona. Who knew there were uh, ski slopes in Arizona? <laughs> So I have seen the Grand Canyon before, but it was freaking awesome, just like last time. I saw some really cool elk. I imagine if you're from the Midwest, you probably think that I'm stupid. Oh well. Also, the drive back down was really cool. It started raining at first, right? So then we start slowly climbing this mountain to go towards like where the um, ski resort is, which I didn't think there was a ski resort in Arizona. But it starts snowing. The temperature dropped like 10 degrees within 10 minutes, and it was snowing. So there's that. Other than that. It's been a great time. I'm looking forward to the next few days. Hopefully it doesn't rain like it says it's going to, 
but we will see and I will let you know and I will record it because that's what I'm doing that was good all right see you later but first first of all I'm about to go edit the pictures that I took so on the way back, basically what I did was try to find some cool um, spots on the river to take pictures, like long exposures that I've been wanting to do. So here's that. All right, we should go here by the creek. I got it. 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 Right. And here's the pictures from it. So I'm just gonna go edit those real quick, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow we're going around here a little bit so yeah i'm really looking forward to that and i will see you then well it's the next day we're just tourists doing tourist things seeing the uh, montezuma castle and whatnot here's some native corn 600 years old all right we're now walking up to the uh local native american swimming hole that's not true i think i'm like falling over look they're living in luxury you got doors, windows, start a few fires in there, you got your buddies living next door, what more could you want? It's a good life right there, you could live there. So, it started raining in Sedona, so we were like, hey, maybe we should just go shop around for a little bit instead of hiking. Obvious choice. So we're just walking through some of these cool shops in here, some of these, you know, typical Sedona stuff. But then, hopefully we're either going to hike tonight, if it clears up, or just ride around and enjoy some of the views. So. We will see. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, sir. What in the ye y'all is going on with the what? What? Okay. No hats. No hats fit my head. I have not. I have not found one hat in Arizona that has fit my head. Or a cowboy hat. I mean, not that I would buy one, but like just to try it on. No, it does not even fit. Look how cool those clouds look in there, though. Look at that. That looks pretty dang good. So, the rain held up for a little bit so we can go find this hike. Alright, there's the better view of it. That's what we're climbing up. It says it's only a half mile to the top, but usually, crap's deceiving. Let's hope it doesn't start pouring on us or anything. That's Bell Rock over there. For anyone familiar with the Sedona area. What you seeing? Okay. <laughs> oh shoot. There's one peak. <laughs> oh. How's that? Ooh. It wasn't too bad getting up here, but this might be the. Woo! I did in. That's nuts. We can get up there. Um, this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Had to put the cover on my bag because it started raining a little bit. But dude, stuff like this is the is the type of stuff that you go on trips for. It's pretty crazy up here. Hopefully, I'm about to fly my drone a little bit, so that might look really cool. What if I forget? What if I forgot my drone somewhere? <laughs> Oh man, let me tell you, that would suck. Good news is, I got two extra batteries. This is illegal, there's no park rangers nearby to uh, do anything about it. Where's my phone? Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go set this up out here. Just wanna show the setup. Show a little behind the scenes action. I got my drone footage I've been wanting. I'm probably gonna get some more up here. I just gotta see. Um, there's Garrett being stupid. What not. Oh. See, important to note here. This looks dangerous. Actually, what he's doing is kind of dangerous. But usually, what we do is not that bad. If I get you falling, this is gonna be a cool video. And also, oh, yeah. let me just record my brother dying video. And also, viral, you become famous. 
and also proof of death. Well, how'd you get there? You look, you look like you just pranced right up there. Well, yeah, coming down is always. Woo. All right. We're now back down to the easy part. Hopefully that recording did um, did this hike justice, but that was definitely that was that was a good one. It was only it's only 0.6 up and 0.6 down. I would have to say that's probably one of the messier hikes, but but well worth it to say the least. Also, if you ever go hiking in Arizona or Sedona, they have these little rock piles along the route to let you know that you were going in the right direction. Which is pretty nice. Like this. You see that at a certain point, they stop doing them. And then after they run up, people start stacking their own rocks. But they only do like, they'll do like two or three. And you can't tell if they're actually meant to be put there or they're just stacking rocks. Also, for the record, the Sony A7R3 is weather sealed and does a great job. Shout out to that. Pictures coming soon. Hopefully I'll put them in the end of the video or in between as I go. We'll see. It's the family pickup. Look at mom waving. Mom, you do great. You're a great actress. <laughs> well, guys, here's the real stuff. So, so I went ahead and recorded some stuff on the way to the airport to start the video off with. And for some reason, while I was going through files and stuff, I deleted them. Um, I spent the last two hours trying to find them and try to recover them. It's not working. Um, so I lost about 20 videos, but I started making the Sedona video, and I also started making some of the videos on the post while I was editing the Arizona video. It feels so early here. But yeah, um, back up your stuff. I didn't even try to delete it. That's the thing. I'm, I don't know where it went. Makes me really mad. But it's fine. I could have lost a lot of other good stuff, but on the bright side, I got some good food. Or from Safeway, but tomorrow, tomorrow will be a good day. All right, see you. Day four of this Arizona trip, hike number three for us. We're going up there. Also, there's snow up there. Pretty cool. Look, that was like the the natural man in the woods. About halfway. You know, I'm learning something new every time we hike. I initially learned you don't get off the trail. <laughs> then I learned you don't go hiking after water and or snow. But yet, we're doing it. All right, we got up here to a flat spot finally. Um, so yeah, now I'm doing this thing. It's actually really unstable though, but it's gonna look good. So, here it is. Yes or no? No. Not here. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> the drone footage was great. Another successful journey up and down. And you had your parents with you. And yep, about time they made it up here with us. Now he's got to get me down. <laughs> All right, and we make our journey down. Hopefully, we can, get to, we can get to that hole up there. So I can take a cool picture. So we came up with this random trail, off trail, probably for the fifth time now. Probably the fifth time we've done stupid crap. Update, we did not make it up to what we were trying to climb. <laughs> so we're heading back down.
But all these little off ramps, it might get us in trouble, but they're always a lot of fun. Good adventure. You know, burn a few calories, gain a little bit of muscle, break a few bones. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera down, catch back up a little bit. And just like that, well, you can walk from we're back. <laughs> Currently looking for another trail, our fourth trail at that. Hey, can I get a stack? I need some fuel. You got a stack for me, Mom? Okay. Sponsored by Kind. Go get your bar now. I'm kidding. Without the next one over. Bring in there. My face is so cold. Can't feel anything. Three, two, wow. one. Boom. Gorgeous. The ball. Alright, so we made it to the top. All of us this time. Um, this is our fourth hike of the trip, second of today. So a little tired. It's also very windy up here. God. So I took off the one lens, I put on the other one, took some pictures. Really cool. So now we're heading back down and uh I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day, but I'm a little bit tired, so we'll see. I will keep you updated. Alright. Oh yes. <laughs> Look how cute that dog is. Look. He's like, yep. We got our last meal of Arizona, and now we're on the last and final hike slash sunset mission of the trip. We made up here to the top. Okay. <laughs> Definitely the shortest hike we've done so far. Um, but hopefully, this will look pretty good. Over here. We, we shall wait for the sunset. Okay. I will be pleased. That didn't really help too oh, much. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> well, that was kind of where I was Did it help a little bit? We are going to sit here and enjoy the last sunset you know this is the only sunset we've seen in arizona but so the hike me and garrett did the first day was that right there actually it was the second hike the first hike was you get there the cathedral and then that second the third and fourth hike were way the heck over there we never got our shoes at 30. Well, you go back around behind Thunder Mountain. Back. All right, we just got back from the sunset trip. Took some cool pictures. Met a very nice guy. <laughs> Let me borrow. His. I really like his accent. He said he was. Yeah, like, he was. He said he liked our accent. I wanted him to like narrate like what we were doing. <laughs> he was from Wells. I should have got him to do a voiceover for me. Yeah. He was from Wells. But he let me use some of his camera gear. And now we're heading back down to the place to clean up. Too early. It is 3.33 in the morning. Ironic, but true. Well, that says 3.28, but you know, close enough. And we're getting ready to head back to the airport. Which is two hours away, so... Oh, yeah. All right. So like always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button below. Consider subscribing if you like this type of content. I post weekly. And I will see you in the next video.